Hi everyone, it's Michelle Lloyd here, founder of United Art Space, and I am joined with the lovely Lloyd Lewis, who is one of our hub members and a portrait artist. Welcome, Lloyd. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. Um, thank you for asking me to do this. I look forward to this. Can be good. Enjoy it. Good. Yeah, because we've done what? Well, have we done two already before? I think we've done two now. I think we've watched the Possibly, third. I don't know. I don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm, 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 that's cool. Sure yeah. So obviously a lot of people know you, but there are some people that don't know you. So for the people that don't, just share a little bit about you know what kind of artist you are. Well, so um my stories I, I think fairly, you know, a commonplace story. It's everyone's kind of similar, everyone's probably got a similar story. Um I left school, I went to art college. Um, I didn't really get on with people at art college. Not, not, I didn't go on with people, but it didn't kind of gel with me. I didn't really enjoy it. So um, I left art college, um, became, went, got into kickboxing, became a kickboxing world champion, um, and then um, left kickboxing to become a teacher. Um, with a teacher for 15 years. The last two years of teaching, I had to have off because of three serious spinal surgeries. During the second kind of spinal surgery, I made the decision to um, leave my cushy, well-paid job and become a martial arts school owner and a, an artist. And I kind of, uh, in 2013, meet my wife, um, who was then my girlfriend. Obviously, we, we didn't meet. We were just, you know, get married like that. That was, that was too quick. But, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I, um, I drew, drew in the back garden. And because um, I'm Welsh, I was drawing a portrait of Dylan Thomas and um, she, she sort of looked and she didn't really realize I could do that so um, I showed her my sketchbooks and things which was horrible because I'd been told I wasn't very good um, and then like, she encouraged me uh, 2013 I became an artist I found my passion I genuinely have found my passion so yeah then um, after my second spinal surgery I became um, I decided to leave teaching had another spinal surgery um, then left teaching uh, so last uh, no not last year the year before um, I, I left teaching and um, run, I now run a martial arts school and I um, am an artist and since since leaving teaching um, my art career has kind of gone from strength to strength I feel anyway I mean I've really last year I mean, doubled down on pushing myself to learn and get better um, and that really helped because I was on Sky Landscape Artist as one of the wild cards. Um, I was um, I got into a juried exhibition with the RWA, uh, two pieces pre-selected and I had one selected and then um, and then I also got into the SWAC as well so I got um, I exhibited in Exeter Castle. So you know pretty standard sort of story really I think. <laughs> I don't think that's standard. <laughs> at all <laughs> in fact i remember when you joined and uh, you were sharing that story and it always sticks in my mind and i was like wow we've got like a, a world champion kickboxer in the in the hub now <laughs> two times two times, two yeah, times. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget that second one no it's not, the second one was hard work so yeah yeah it's such it's so good isn't it and so and look we we spoke and i don't know when it was because both of our memories are terrible <laughs> But look at how yeah. much well, you my, have. My excuse is I got hit on the head a lot. So, you know, that's, I think that's why my memory is not very good. And I don't have an excuse. So. <laughs> um, but, it, you know, it might have been a year ago, not even a year ago. I don't know, but who, who, who cares? But the, thing, the point is that since we last spoke, look at how much has happened since then in terms of everything that you've just spoken it's about. It's been fantastic. It really has. I've, um, yeah, I... I, if you'd have told me that I would have done all that last year, um, having decided to make it a quieter year in terms of exhibitions and stuff, I mean, I still exhibited throughout Bristol and in some prestigious venues as well, you know, yeah. um, and um, did two art trails only last year as well. They were really good. Um, but then this year it's going to be even bigger, even better. My my word for the year is build. So I want to build on what I did last year and improve. Um, I could build on my on get that kind of art as tight and as good as I possibly can. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, and just and build on all those other experiences as well. So yeah, it's um this is this is going to be a, a good year. I think that's something that's important to you, isn't it? And it is for every artist, but I see it a lot in you. Is that 
development of your own voice and your technique and you're always striving yeah. all the time to make your work better and better and better for me it's all it's constant learning process you know i i i um i realized just how little i know i we went to paris at the um just before christmas we we got to the we went to the louvre we went to um the um, music Dorsey as well and um, we also recently went to see Lucy and Freud's self-portraits and just seeing them all of them and um, like seeing like Bouguereau's paintings and the Mona Lisa and everything it just just makes me realize how little I know and how much more there is to go you know and it just it, I find it massively inspiring to be able to then like because I, I look back um, I like to look back because January and I think everyone should um, I think everyone does, but you know, I look back at the, some of, some of the work I've been producing, and I've, I've been checking it on my Facebook page and stuff. And I, I think it's night and day, you know. Like when I like my first self portrait that I did to work, what, what I'm working on now is kind of night and day, and, and so I can't wait to see what I do later, you know, and all the improvements. And, and it and it comes from kind of the improvement comes from hard work and dedication because, like I am like I am genuinely deeply obsessed with getting better. So um, mm -hmm. my most my time now my most productive time if you'd have told me this five ten years ago i'd have thought you were mad but i get up at five o'clock to paint you know and, and and that's my thing i i wouldn't get i don't think i'd get out of bed for at five o'clock for many other things i used to get out of bed at five o'clock when i was training so you know like i'd run at five o'clock in the morning because i had to because i didn't you know like mm. i had a mission to get to be the best world, world, world kickboxer i could be so mm. yeah um I, I get out of bed now to do my to do my painting, which you know is is great and it's paid dividends. And again, since doing that, um, I've been nearly doing it a year now. Since doing that, I've had all that like improvement, all that success, and you know, and, and you know, it's not massive success, but it's it's stepping stones and it's things that I didn't get into the year before, the year before because I wasn't good enough, but now I am, um, and I'm just getting better. So yeah, it's great. It's a good tip for everyone, isn't it? To just keep persevering, keep going. And a year seems like a long time, but it isn't. And I know no. in Catherine's work, you know, the, the difference in her work a year on, it's the same for everyone, I'm sure, when you keep going and keep practicing. Yeah. So tell everyone about your self-portrait. You do a self-portrait every year, don't you? Yeah. Every year, um, I, I do a self-portrait, and I'm sorry that I've been bombarding everybody with uh, working progress really shots. It. I'm now limiting my... Thank you. I'm now limiting on my groups and things on my pages to work in progress Wednesday and that's it. So people don't get bored on that. But um, yeah, I, I do a self portrait every year and I think I've done one for the last six or seven years. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, um, yeah, and it's nice for me to see the progress that I make, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I remember the first self portrait I did and I thought, oh, I'm really pleased with that. It's definitely me, you know, and, and I look at it now and I just think there's so much more you could do. But there wasn't, you know, there's so much more I could do now, but I wasn't, I'm not the artist, I, I'm, I'm, I've improved, you know, it's kind of, uh, I've got better and better and better and I see more, I think, and, um, you know, back then that was as good as I could do and I genuinely think it was, but I've improved, I've got better and, uh, and that's what it is, it's kind of, uh, like I was talking to someone today, it's an iterative process, it's just a continuum and you just keep walking forward and keep moving, you know, improving, that's all yeah. any of us can do. Do you have all these portraits up on the wall? I've just imagined this room and eventually there's going to be like the Lloyd, the Lloyd Hall of Fame, <laughs> like room of pictures. <laughs> yeah, the, the Lloyd Lewis Memorial Gallery, I think I'm going to call it, Michelle. <laughs> I think that would be, you know, somewhere, somewhere in London, I think, in a marble clad building. I think obviously that's going to happen one day you know exactly <laughs> yeah I, 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 we'll be there, I mean. yeah exactly aim big aim big yeah <laughs> well, that's, I draw, another, I, that's another reason i remember you i remember you joining the hub and i think you're one of the few people that because i always ask when people join you know why did you join and where do you want to go so i can get to know people and uh i remember lloyd replying back saying i want to be in the portrait the national portrait gallery <laughs> And I was yeah. like, yes, yeah. aim big. I still and do. I still do. Because exactly. I, yeah. I, targets, targets are important. And I, I, I hate this whole idea of smart targets and things like that. They're just so small, you know, they're just so tiny. I, the people who got, who, who transported people to the moon, you know, people who've climbed Everest, people who've, you know, circumnavigated the globe. They, that wasn't done with smart targets. That was done with impossible, crazy, stupid dreams. 
you know and if, yeah. if some living persons in the national portrait gallery they are made of the same stuff as i am i'm not there now i know i'm not there now in terms of you know but i think i can be there one day, we'll and, be um, there one day. I, I tell my wife yeah i think so i genuinely i it, if not then that's fine but i it will i just think what it will make of me as i'm trying to get there you know it's exactly it's, it's, it's important sometimes to have these ideas yeah sometimes it's about the journey isn't it like you say striving yeah. for something that yeah. amazing can will take you you know even if it doesn't end up being there it will take you on the most yeah. incredible journey because you're aiming so high absolutely i mean i today i, I again i didn't i started off the, the year quite coolly i think i'm quite happy because i got a commission today to do a um a cover of a book as well so that's quite cool she's a really um up-and-coming author so Amazing. yeah um, yeah so i'm quite so pleased good. so you have all these opportunities so let's see. obviously you're a member of the hub and I am. tell me how the hub has helped you with all of this so before oh. before you joined to where you are now how has it helped would you say the hub been incredible like um the live videos and everything that was so informative the community as well we, we did we um we had a, a member meetup in bristol recently this last weekend was this, this weekend yeah mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. my brain is gone. yeah don't ask me <laughs> yeah <laughs> last week so, <laughs> it was it was in, in the last few weeks less it was this year but um yeah so we had a member meetup and it was lovely it was like talking to people that are my friends you know and we're talking to people who are, have a mutual love or a passion for art um so yeah for me the the hub it, it really helps with like so many different aspects of the art world because you know it's not just um because the art world isn't just painting and drawing it's the business side it's the marketing it's the presentation it's the websites it's so many other things you know and 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 the hub is 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 there i mean you know you get experts in to kind of help us with various kind of things like selling and you know websites and stuff like that um maria brophy's been on hasn't she yeah a couple twice, of times. yeah and she's times. yeah and she's coming times, back you know. as well we're, we're just world trying. class yeah Absolutely world class a font of knowledge and just you know just yeah so um the hub has been incredible it's, it's made me realize that i have a lot of work that i need to do like in terms of you know well, so many things but um yeah I, i'll get there i'm not i'm not there yet but i'll get there and i'll just kind of again just keep plugging away and keep trying to get things moving on but yeah it, the hub is brilliant the community i think is just amazing you know you get you're making like like-minded friends on on facebook which is awesome yeah and it's so brilliant. people people watching probably look at you and think oh my gosh is this like world champion twice world champion kickboxer and <laughs> And he he wants to be in this big big gallery, and he probably doesn't ever get scared of anything. Do you feel the fear, Lloyd? And I guess that I'm asking this because I I, I know people sit there thinking that you probably don't, because from the outside it looks like you're so confident, oh, all the time. you've got everything figured out. So just share that side, the vulnerable side, please. I think I think it's interesting that people would think I'm confident, but um, yeah, um, I I know what I want. I I think that's the that's the difference. It's it's. I, I mean, I think, like, I look at my work and I go through, I think, the process that every creative individual goes through, you know, you kind of start, it's like, it's like a, a really tempestuous love affair because you really, you love it and then you hate it and then you love it and then you hate it and then you never want to see it again. Then you set it on fire and <laughs> don't, I didn't, I was joking about the fire, but, but you know, and um, it's just, yeah, it's, um, I, I get, I get, I don't think I'm, I get scared of lots and lots of things. I remember um, my first ever art trail. Um, I, I got into this kind of the North Bristol Arts Trail and it, it was quite cool. And um, um, yeah, and I remember being terrified of um, not knowing what to say to people about my art, you know? Um, now that's not the case. I mean, now people are trying, are begging to for me to let them go because, you know, <laughs> I can talk. But um, yeah, um, it's just, yeah, I, I get really nervous, especially like I did. Um, I did the um, Sky Landscape Artist last year, and as one of the wild cards, and it was, I was terrified. I mean, I was absolutely terrified because like there's this big Hertzmonsieur Castle, and I'm a portrait artist. I've done. I can successfully completed up to the point two landscapes. Right, that's it. 
one of them one of them was in watercolor one of them was in um it was acrylics and i hadn't done anything else you know i, I and i just remember thinking oh i might have bitten off more than i can chew here but you've just got to go for it if you if you think oh i've bitten off more than i can chew i better get back in my car and go home then you never have that experience i had a great time i got to i made some really lovely friends again you know friends on facebook and things now um i got to speak to kathleen suriano and and i got to have a really nice converse, couple of conversations with taishan schirenberg and he was amazing and he's exactly what you expect him to be just lovely if i'd have been if i'd have let that fear grab hold of me and like make me turn tails and run then i would never have ever had that experience so yeah i mean i get i get really nervous um i don't think i'm i because because of my time in 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 competition in the ring and things like that i've had you know like you 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 understand that you've just got to go for it and fear is good you can't let it eat you up you can't let it get to you you've just got to understand that it's a, it's, it's 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 not really fear it's excitement you know if you relabel yeah. it yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's what yeah, i try to do great, it's a great point and i'm just listening to all the people that you've met and all these opportunities that you've had and oh, it's been brilliant and would you say the hub has helped you with those opportunities? Oh, the hub has massively, like, it wouldn't have been, I genuinely, I, can, I, I remember, you know, emailing you for help and advice on applications for things and, you know, so many other, you know, and talking to other people in the hub, Kristen and things like that and Stacey and stuff and, you know, June and lots and lots of kind of advice from people. Um, yeah, and yeah, they, it's, it's the community aspect that helps you kind of overcome any issues and trepidation that you might have and you just go through for it and you push through. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, like the hub is just brilliant. I, I you know, I, I don't think I, I dip in as much as I want to, um, but I'm, I've, I've made learning my priority this year, so I'm going to be much more, um, um, a little bit, a little bit higher profile in, in a hub when you're on live and stuff and I've been watching yeah. as much as I can you know, or, or on replays and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's a brilliant, brilliant thing. And the, and the seven keys is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. That really helps you to kind of like help you with your mindset, find your why, mm. know your who, you know, it's, yeah. it's genius. Yeah, There's so many, so many things, you, need, you know, the artists need from this hub is good. And do you have a message for anyone who's thinking of joining the hub who might be watching this? Yes, I do. Um, we are very much i think as human beings um we are happy to kind of spend our money on the latest iphone or the nice pair of shoes and something like that you know um but we don't tend to think about spending our money on something like this which is absolutely worthwhile it's kind of it will help you develop in so many ways like, you know like you've helped me in in my mindset and and so many other things you know really have um so yeah like if you want to improve your mindset if you want to know a little bit more about your why if you want to oh, be my there Hello. sorry yeah uh, if you want to if you want to have um you know lives with facebook lives with experts in their field like world class experts in their field then then then, then go for it just you know um one of my friends has got a great saying just get out of your own way you know so mm -hmm. i would suggest if anybody's kind of um in and are in get out of your own way just do it and 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 you will you know reap the benefits because it's 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 really beneficial to see everybody like i, I think i've we, we've tried to work it out on whenever we saw each other um a couple of weeks ago whatever it was <laughs> um we tried to work out how long i've been in there but like to see everyone who i've been who i started the hub with yeah. they have all progressed they are yeah. all doing things so they're all like there are people in the, on the covers of magazines and, yeah, you know, is. people talking about making £10,000 a month and, yeah. you know. It's incredible. It's, it gives me goosebumps. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's all down, you know, like, you're, you're the kind of the power in it and you've attracted all these amazing people. So, yeah, I, I would say it's well worth it. It's a, huge, it's a hugely um, beneficial kind of uh, um, hub. And, yeah, just do it. You're right in terms of, it's investing in yourself, isn't it? it is yeah, people don't. People don't. don't. Yeah, you're right. No. you're right. And so as we wrap up, is there one piece of advice that you'd like to share with artists, just in general about being an artist or anything that you've learned along the way that you think, I wish someone had told me that? 
Well, I think um, someone told me years ago, when you start painting, don't ever think that you're going to make a masterpiece. Just enjoy the process and work to your best of your ability. Um, but also try and, make, try and make every painting that you've done better than the one you did before. Those, that's my advice. You know, really and, advice. Yeah. Oh, Thank it's you. always amazing to speak with you, Lloyd. You're so inspirational. We're so <laughs> proud of your journey. It's amazing to watch how you're just transforming. And I can't wait to see where 2020 takes you. Uh, so I can't wait either. It's exciting. We we'll have to so, do, we'll have to keep yes. doing these every year. That you'll have your portrait every year and a video every year. We can see the progress. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See the progress in the portraits and see the degeneration in the aging process of my little face. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining us, Lloyd. I'm sure everyone has found that so, so useful. And no doubt we'll see you soon. And you'll meet Lloyd in the hub if you decide to join. Because Lloyd's obviously... Yes, awesome. yes. Yeah, so take care and see you nice. soon, everyone. Bye.